balls. Yeah, that was sick. And then, yeah, this will be a good heat too. We got um, we got Kingy, uh, Micah, Kainoa. Oh, here's a replay. Hard balls. Nice turn there. That was a good turn. <laughs> kind of got caught there. Goes goes all foamy and then gets a little float there and just your little style spin off the end. That was that was a good little wave. And all right, we we're starting action. off. Yes, starting off quarterfinal heat number two out in the water. It is a heavy heat. Look at this, the big man on campus. Oh, this Kano one's McGee This one in. looks good. So here he goes. He's kind of going around that barrel. Oh. Look, this is what he. This is all he has to do. Oh my! Sick. He still was able to get a little turn in there, even though yep. the lip hit the back of his board. Yeah. Did you see his board? Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, he goes. Oh, he's coming in. Yeah, it's Miles coming That's in from Miles. his previous heat. He's a happy camper. Yeah, he's stoked, mate. Yeah. But um, Kainoa knows his game plan. He knows he just needs to sit on those lefts. Here's a replay. Look, he he knows the next little ball's coming. Look at that. In. That's sick. That's just like fun pipe right there. And oh, Kainoa yeah. McGee having all, as much fun as he can. So the mohawk. When are you gonna grow your mohawk? When are you gonna cut a mohawk? Oh, gee, I don't know, Manny. I just had a I had a um a raging beard going. I yeah. had I was I was running that for a while, but yeah, I just I was getting a bit itchy, <laughs> so I just had to get rid of that. The old clean shaven. What about your lady? Does she like the beard? She hates it. Oh yeah, yeah, she absolutely hates it, but I like it. So, oh no, you got to balance it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but my beard grows back it, like literally daily. <laughs> it's, it's intense. <laughs> so that's where all these razor companies make a killing of people like you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Look at here we go. These are your final results. Miles, cow ha 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 ha, hands down taking that heat. Ryan Hardy, and look at that, greeted oh, by his family. Oh, there you go. Look at that little high five. <laughs> Hardy's just thinking about the money. I know it. He's, that's what in our heat he was like, one more round to the money round, one more round. So <laughs> now he's just he's doing the dollar signs in his nice. head. He's adding it all up. Yeah. Well, he's got diapers to pay for. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah, those things aren't cheap. Wow, Alex Leone getting a little inside scoop on what's going on out there. I'm sure he'll tell you what's going down once he gets back into the hot seat. But we have Matt Lackey right now with Manny V holding it down here for the IBA Pipe Challenge brought to you by Ocean Current and our friends at Dave & Buster's Aqua Hotel and Resorts. Go Mokulele, TNC Surf Designs, and our tour media partner, YouTube.com. Currently out in the water. This is where we're at. So, yeah, Kainoa's obviously got, you got a 593 for that first barrel. Uh, and then Pancho got a 127, but he, he's, he just pulled, uh, just took up and pulled out. There was nothing going on for him. And Kingy and Micah are just waiting it out. It'll be interesting to see if Kingy goes backside, if he goes at pipe, or if he waits for the backdoor ones, because I know Micah would definitely be waiting for the backdoor ones. And uh, was Kingy serves good backside. So we'll see how see what he does, but uh, yeah, Kainoa's Kainoa's just keep, keeping on with those uh, pipe little numbers. Yep. I thought he would have got a little bit more for that one, but you know, I'm no judge. Earlier Here today, we, we had the comments just get out of control with names of of drop nears. Look at this, Kainoa oh. trying to get a backside that way just was ran that away from Yeah, right. I don't know what he was doing. Couldn't get organized right there, Kainoa McGee. And look at this wave. Out the back, white. Take and we got look. red. Is this Kingy? Look, he wants his he wants his backside. Kingy can't make it around that section, but a nice attempt. At least he has something on his scorecard. Yeah. It's always important to have those two waves, no matter yeah. what. Some it, of the heats I've seen, it's literally come down to like guys will be trying to get get the bombs, but they they just won't be um just won't be quite making the barrels. You could literally sit off the end and just do a few turns and you'd probably, you know, making heats. Obviously not the last heat, Hardy and that, just getting those, and Miles, getting yeah. those sick ones. And, um, wow, look at this, well. down the beach from Peru, Pancho Galdos finding a backdoor oh, wave, but there wasn't really anything there, but one yeah. of the bigger backdoor waves so far, Pancho Galdos from Peru. He'll be finding Micah, it. taking yeah. a look. Yeah, oh, Pancho, he'll be finding a piece of reef over there, that's for sure. <laughs> um, and then Micah, he's... He's had a quiet start, but he knows what he's looking for. Um, Kingy. Well, uh, Matt, I was uh, talking to, or actually 
threw it out there for a bunch of names to get tossed out of drop nears that are not here, but would like everybody would like to see here. And I just have a full list of oh, drop nears. Oh wow! Man. You, here we go. Look at this, Kaino Kaino Mickey, Dragon, up and riding, dropping the arms straight in there. The wind's not affecting him. Whoa, oh, that's sick! That's yeah. how you handle it, people. Whoa, he's just oh, that's sick. So, do you think his uh, weight has anything to do well, with maintaining? Well, no. Well, yes and no. Just because. It's, it's not that big, so I was kind of thinking to myself, he's pretty big. It might be hard for him to kind of, but he's just locking straight in. He's just dumping that arm in, little backwash flare. He's just powering it through those wind chops and everything, so he's doing well. And here we go. We've got a replay. Well, we just had a replay. So let me give you a couple of names that were shouted out on the comments area. Phil Harnsberger, Taryn Rosa, Danny Wall, Jeff Bragg. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Michael Crawley was even tossed oh, out Oh, yeah. Crawley for sure. Neil Tippard, uh, Todd DeGraff, Crispin Hughes, Matt Riley, the Cockwell brothers from South Africa. And, I mean, the list goes on and on. But check this out. We do have the winner of the last heat was Shaggy. Shaggy, where you at, brother? Hey, guys, I'm down here. It's Miles Ha oh, oh, <laughs> Miles K. <Kay. laughs> he's just had a hat trick. Um, he's into the semifinals. Miles, are you having a dream run again, hey? Yeah, super stoked and lucky again. <laughs> yeah, man, you got two great backdoor ways. Let's talk about that. Uh, your best one you got. Yeah, I, I was kind of on the inside. I seen it like double stacking, kind of a little <laughs> runner. I was wasn't in position i was at the end of the line so i figured i'd just go anyway got the nug <laughs> yeah it turned out to be your best one you got a nine point something on it put you like 16 point score average or something yeah. ridiculous like that super stoked huh S super stoked right now no no now you're in the real money round hey semi-finals yeah real money rounds <laughs> you'll take that hey ching ching, ching, ching. <laughs> Well, congratulations. I'll let you go relax and um, back to you guys in the booth. Miles on a full on charge, trying to make it to the finals here at Pipe. Now he is seated in semifinal number one. Yeah, see, and um, Miles is bored. He was actually riding one of my, my um, Nomad boards. But he's, he's actually showing me actually how to ride the thing properly. Jesus. <laughs> That's how you get barreled on it, Matt. Jeez. <laughs> No, nah, you got a couple solid waves in nah, there, but I was clutching it. Clutch. My first heat was all right, and then I was just all downhill from there. But um, that's all right. And Another then name thrown out was Robbie Gall. Robbie Gall, yeah. Robbie Gall. Yeah, Rafi oh, Mayer. Yeah. I'd love to see Rafi at backdoor. Look at that coming up next. We have Bud has been on a full-on charge oh, too, yeah. just absolutely killing it. Jeff Hubbard and the rest of the riders we're going to see out in that heat. But look at this. Back to the live action. Micah McMullen pulling in. Back door, unfortunately, gets chopped on the way in and cannot maintain his speed to come out of that barrel. Dave Hubbard, Miguel Feliciano from Puerto Rico, and Bud Miyamoto, Jeff Hubbard. Jeff Hubbard and David Hubbard meeting again in this competition, this time in quarterfinal, heat number three in the drop knee division. He goes. Ooh. That's going to be a sick heat to watch, too. Look at Adel Jimenez in the background. Oh, it looks like a nice floater attempt right oh. there. Just absolutely getting annihilated. Yeah, he just didn't have the uh, have the speed or momentum. He kind of just went up into that lip and just stopped. And um, the, old, the old knee breaker at back, back door. But um, he'll be right to paddles back. Oh, maybe not. There's a couple of sets that might get him. Whether he opts to go. Oh, he might be going around, yeah. But, yeah, this next heat will be good. Um, Dave Hub, man, he'll be loving these um, these long-running lefts. He'll be a little combo fiesta. <laughs> so um, in the next heat, you want to you wanna pick who you think is going to take it? Yeah, why not? Dump some cash. Oh, no. <laughs> I've already placed a bet one time against uh, Bobby Quinones. Oh, well, with Bobby Quinones, and I lost, and... I'll, I'll, I'll never do that again. You know what? I take that back. Yeah, right. There's a fair bit of money <laughs> to be made on Bodyboard Bet. Yes. Just quietly. Yes. Bodyboardbet.com. You can actually bet he on got the riders. Look at this. The rider. Damien King. Oh, oh can he, he makes this one. Can he come out of that? It looked like he was maintaining, but a couple of those chops in the barrel. Yep. Yeah, he did well. 
you could see him come through that second section for a second and he was, <coughs> he was just a little bit too deep. And that wind look like, looks like right now it's just um, turned up a notch. But that, that'll just come and go with the, with the clouds. Here's a replay of King. He looks straight off the bottom. Perfect drive. Skip through that. Look, see, on the, on the shocky. Yep. That was sick. And then, oh, just got him. Yeah, see, those ones at pipe are really hard, especially on backside. But uh, if he hadn't made that one, that would have been huge. The old shocky drive. Oh, no. Foam ball shocky drive for Kingy. I wonder what? how he's liking that new tail he's riding. Looks oh, like it's working. Right. It's working. I mean, if he had that bad tail, I don't think he would have driven that far yeah. in the barrel. He did everything right. It was almost just the, it was just, yeah, just a bit deep. That's all. Here we go, Mike. He's looking at this backdoor one. It looks like it could be shaping up for a oh, nice he's, he's wave right here. He's got a big da hammer. His da hammer. Oh, oh, almost. Again, the chops coming up the face yeah, of the wave. Wobbly. He's getting a score though. He's getting it on the board. He's only got. That's his second wave. His first wave came in as at a two. Okay. And uh, Kingy. He's got a couple waves now, so we're going to wait for the scores to drop down. He's Again, this is the drop knee division quarterfinal, number three out of the yeah. water. Yeah, see that replay? That um, It just kind of backed off on him as he went to drop. His nickname is Da Hammer, and, <laughs> and he just drops Da Hammer. And um, he was definitely looking for a big hammer drop on that one. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, it kind of just backed off at that moment. But uh, he's definitely, if, if it comes together for him, you'll know about it. Yeah, so... We'll see how it goes. There it is. 13 minutes and 46 seconds remaining. A couple of the women contestants, unfortunately, did not make it through. It is Ruth and Luz We're going around socializing, talking to everybody, saying, what up? And there's uh, the Brazilians chilling out that they walked past. That's a little Brazilian area right there. Myla, Neymar are hanging out in that area. And look at this, coming up next, quarterfinal number three, David Hubbard in red. Miguel Feliciano will be in the white jersey from Puerto Rico. And, uh-oh, Kaino McGee. Or no, I'm sorry, Bud Miyamoto getting up and walking down the beach. What do you think's going on? Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's getting close, so he, I think he's probably getting pretty focused. He really wants to, to make it for sure. I've, yeah. Um, my pick for this heat, it's going to be out of... It's a um, tough one, dude. It's a tough one. Be careful. Is. Yeah, I know. I've got to watch what I say as well. <laughs> Cre create some enemies. Now, I reckon either Bud or Dave, obviously. Well, not obviously. Anything can happen. But um, I reckon Dave. I'll go Dave. It's Ooh, pretty much tied. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Bud might even do some. You never know. Bud can do airs with, the, with this wind as well, front side. Yeah. He's like an air freak. So <clears throat> this wind will keep the board stuck to him. So you could see some double grab cannonballs. <laughs> we will see coming up in 12 minutes and 18 seconds remaining in this heat. Again, welcome everybody to the IBA Pipe Challenge brought to you by Ocean Current. If you're tuning in from home, welcome. If you're tuning in from home in Oahu, shame on you. Drop everything, get down here and watch the finals of the Drop Knee and Women's Division. And if you're at work, thank you for tuning in and hiding your computer from your boss. We got a little bit of lull. We'll be back right after this. Right price, right now. Get away to Hawaii from $89 per night at Aqua Hotels and Resorts, Hawaii's only boutique hotel chain on five islands. Stay with us on Maui, Kauai, Molokai, Lanai, or in Waikiki. Aqua offers an array of hotels, each with their own unique personality. With excellent service, great rates, and plenty of free stuff, there's never been a better time for a Hawaii vacation. Here we go. Once again, welcome, everybody. Day number four, the last day of the four-day event here at the IBA Pipe Challenge, brought to you by Ocean Current. And look at this, way out the back in yellow, taking a look, Kaino McGee. Kainawa, see, you know what? Oh. oh, there you go, there you go. I was actually looking at his scores, and I was, I was kind of thinking they're they're lowballing him a little bit, but then I thought to my, then I thought, oh, they're probably waiting for something um better to come along, and that well, I think that was it. That was sick. Oh my, he's loving it. Look, replay. All right, Kaino McGee again fighting the win. All his weight behind. <laughs> on top of the board, just chopping through the inside of that barrel, making it through every chop and bump. And that's the infamous Kainoa claim right there. It's it's so sick. Like, 
he's just one of those guys with the natural talent. Like, he, the guy pretty much rides a surfboard these days, and then he just picks up a bodyboard and goes out and does that. That's oh crazy. Hell. Natural, the old natural talent. Well, then again, Pipe is his backyard. Yeah, He'll take he any wave riding vehicle out here and absolutely yeah. just dominate and command respect. It's it's pretty pretty good to have him on our side. Oh yeah, definitely. He's a huge huge human. He's got a head like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive. It's you know he, you got to see the guy in real life to really know. Exactly. Okay, live action. Look at this in blue. Nice little turn right there, rail oh. grab. Again, he's not going to get scored as high as points as he can if he grabs that rail. The judges, Clayton, the guy who organizes the DK series in uh, in Australia, is up there making sure the judges are on top of it. But rail grab, some riders are going to do it, and it, they're going to do it to help pull off maneuvers. But the judges would like to see no grabbing the rail on all these maneuvers. Yeah, definitely. Uh, grabbing rail... You know, obviously, like style-wise, you want to, you don't want to be t grabbing it. You know, when you're starting out, getting your turns done and everything, getting them sorted, yeah. But after a while, you want to. That's the whole aim of the game is not to be grabbing rail. Woo! All right, let's take another look at Pancho Gallo's last wave, the Peruvian. Here he is taking off back door again, really bumpy, but pulls that nice turn off the top again. Clean turn, but if he lets go of that rail, definitely one or two points higher. Yeah, I think that was that was all right. That was actually all right. Um, steep in the pocket there, made it, made it really clean. But yeah, kind of grabbed the rail. But um, sometimes, sometimes you do need to grab the. If you if you're coming out of like a, a bowl and you have a a ton of speed, then yeah, you know you got to grab the rail and just. But if you can make it look stylish, it's it's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, definitely, the old no no grab rail routines the the way to go. Yeah. Well, I'm, I was trying to contact uh, last year's defending champion Kim Feast, and I'm like, Feasty, where are you? How come you're not here at uh, the North Shore defending your pipe title? And I, I finally got a message back from him that uh, unfortunately he did injure his uh, his spine. He did end up with three bulging discs, and that was oh whoa ho, ho, big turn right there from the Peruvian. That yeah. was insane from uh, Peruvian. So the next event's in Peru, isn't it, Manny? Oh, are you going? Unfortunately, no. Oh, I heard it's uh, going to be located at a long, perfect right-hander, too. So, oh, really? Yes, that's almost I did, I didn't know that. consider it. Yeah, Yeah. jeez. <laughs> Here we go, replay of blue. Another oh, that was solid a sick turn. turn. Yeah, solid I didn't turn see that. Off the top, that was Pancho Galdos, see, the I wanna Peruvian. See, it'd be interesting what they score that. It's only one move, but it was sick. Pancho, nice solid weight again. Kim Feast, a three bulging bulging disc in your spine. I mean, I don't know how much pain that is, but uh, we wish you a very speedy recovery. And um, I don't know if you've talked to him within the last year, but. Uh, yeah, I s yeah, I actually stayed with him in West Oz when we were over there, and he was, it was when it first happened, but he didn't know it happened. Oh so we no. were surfing, and he's just like, he was surfing North Point, getting these bombs, and uh, yeah, he was getting flogged on some of them, and ma getting some insane ones, but um, yeah, about a couple of weeks later, he's like, he was complaining at the time that he had a sh sore neck and stuff, and um, yeah, that's what it turned out to be. He's very, very lucky there. Yeah, for, uh, it actually got better, and then it got worse again, uh. so yeah. Well, uh, speedy recovery, Kim Feast, uh, our 2011 Pipe DK champion. We uh, we wish you the best, and uh, hopefully see you next year here at Pipe. Yeah, I reckon Feast, you would have been loving these conditions. It's it's kind of kind of well, kind of similar to last time. Last time was a lot better, but it's um just just the, just this wind. But there's still definitely good ones, as you can see. Kainoa doing his thing, just dumping arm and riding the shocky. We do have viewers watching in, tuning in from all over the world. I'm gonna get, I'm going to get my list started, but I'll tell you right now, Cesar Garcia, they're watching. Hector Chato <laughs> Richie is watching with all the Cabo San Lucas boys, and we know Martin Leon is also watching from Mazatlan with all the Mazatlan crew. So Mexico's tuned in, that's for sure. 
and a lot of the riders from around the world. We know Aruba, the Caribbeans, and for sure the Australians are tuning in as well. Anyone you want to give a shout out to since you're on the mic? Uh, the wife, my wife Gabriella, yes. and my Pomeranian, uh, three kilo Pomeranian called uh, Valentino. Oh, it was Valentino. Tino for short though. <laughs> Is Tino watching? Uh, yeah, I reckon. He'd be just like, He'd be kicking back, getting his stomach rubbed for sure, I reckon. <laughs> he just sleeps all day. Uh, Beck, look at this, out in the water. It, we have quarterfinal number one, or kind of semifinal, quarterfinal number two, out in the water. I'm going to stop right there, take a swig. Yeah, so so we got Damien King, Micah, Kaino, and Pancho. Oh, Pancho surprised me. I had actually never seen him surf before, and that turn was sick. So yeah, that was sick. Give us the lowdown. Where are we currently in the water? Oh, okay. Um, this is a part I'm not good at. Okay, so in fourth <laughs> is Damien King. I won't get into the logistics of it all. I'll you, let you get technical, Manny. But uh, basically, we've got Damien King in fourth. Micah in third. He only needs a 2.84 to get to second. Oh, no. Pancho Galdos. He's, um, he's in second. And uh, Kaino is dominating in first. <laughs> That's all you had to say. Yeah. So it's basically, it was like my heat, my earlier heat. It was just a fight for second and Kaino was just, we just left Kaino alone. Just do your thing over there and then we'll, we'll fight it out. We'll fight for the scraps over here. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that, what was that wait, last wave for Geldor? Look at this beautiful view coming in. Wow, Kaino McGee Kainoa. holding on to that drop. A little bumpy but comes around the section. Loses the barrel, but still able to get a turn in there on the face of the wave. Wow, I thought he was going to go down, but it is Kaino McGee. Yeah, and his style hasn't his style hasn't changed at all. It looks exactly the same. Like I reckon, if it was like ten to ten to twelve foot, he'd be just doing the same thing, just dominating, coming in off the peak and just. Well, just he's going to take a break right there. He has uh, three minutes remaining. Oh, Michael McMullen dropping in back door. Hitting the brakes right there, leaning back. Look how bumpy it is. Yeah. And you know why he calls it quits right there. It's just absolutely windy and bumpy out there for the DK quarterfinals. Yeah, and Kingy actually went, went uh, pipe on that one. But uh, it didn't really work out for him. See, Mike would be pretty frustrated right now. He only needs a 2.84 to get to move into second. And basically, all that is is just a clean peak with a turn. And this is Kingy's one. See, he'd be... King, he'd be getting frustrated too. It's just not opening up for him. And then Kainal takes off and gets barreled the whole way. But right, um, once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the IBA Pipe Challenge brought to you by Ocean Current. We have full action for the remainder of the day. We have the quarterfinals of the Drop Knee Division out in the water. And we have the quarterfinals of, actually the semifinals of the women's division coming up as well. Today, we're going to crown the pipe champion in the DK division and the pipe champion <laughs> in the women's division. And uh, so, see, Mike only needs something small. And speak of the devil, and here speak, we go. Here he is. Okay, he just knows he needs a couple of turns. There you go. He, you know, even if he just milks it. Two minutes. Two, two minutes, minutes Just get back out there and get one. Replay of Kainoa. See, yeah, he, even if he had got scooped straight into that, those chandeliers would have got him. So he did well getting around it and just a turn at the end. That was nice. And then he looks at the, he checks his watch and then knows, all right, I might get a couple extra <laughs> points on the end. Only Kainoa. But, uh, yeah, Micah. Oh. Is, uh, did Micah just go into second? It looks like the scores have dropped for Micah McMullen. Yep. He wasn't looking for a giant score, but that 2.67 was enough to bump him into yep. second place. Now, it is Pancho Galdos, the Peruvian in the blue jersey, looking for a 5.33. And Kingy, looking for a 6.17. Yeah, Kingy, if, if Kingy gets a backdoor one, hey, Kano's come in. <laughs> Just what you this were talking about. This is amazing. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Just walk away. Job, yeah. job done. Here's my jersey. We'll see you later. Oh, that's amazing. How did he fit into that jersey? I look, look he's, he's going, yeah, fight it out, fellas. <laughs> look at Dave Winchester in the background with the red hat getting ready for his heat, which is coming up against Sasha Specker, Cesar Bauer. Uh, that's going to be coming up right now with 40 seconds remaining. Kaino McGee waiting patiently to see if Micah McMullen 
or Poncho or Damian King can knock him out of that first place or second place advancement mark. But I think he's sitting all right. What Ooh. if you saw him coming out of a bar in a dark alley and uh, bumped into him? Would you run? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Would you fight that? Oh, That's no. That's intense. I would have. No way. Is this Kingy? Kingy last minute. All right, Kingy Come last on, Kingy. minute. Big float. Oh, oh, he just threw the tail just that too much. Kingy looking for 6.17, and that's all she wrote for Kingy. And unfortunately, Pancho Galdos. But it was at the last few minutes, Michael McMullen pulling out everything he could for a simple low-scoring wave, and you called it, and he did it. Yeah, he'd be stoked. See, that's like if he didn't get – if he – you know, he was probably looking at that way.